would you like to tame an owl bear in Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access? Of course you do. Let's see how to do that and what you can do with your new owl bear friend. Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access allows you to tame an owl bear cub and move it to your camp. You can interact with it, you can have certain levels of trust with it, and I'm pretty sure it's going to play a bigger role once the full game launches. But how do you get this owlbear cub to your camp? How do you tame your own owlbear cub? Well, first of all, you shouldn't have slain the owlbear yet, and you shouldn't have raided the goblin camp yet. Also, having a character with high nature and animal handling will help eventually quite a bit. You can also use a potion or a spell which allows you to speak with animals to make it a bit easier, but having these skills high will definitely help. So, what do we do? First of all, we're going to find the owlbears. You'll encounter an owlbear cub along with her owlbear mother. Start at Sylvanus' Grove and head north, a little bit of north east actually, and you'll encounter two people standing over a dead body. You can handle that however you please, but handle it. Once that's done, you can continue that path where they stood and cross the river there, which leads to an Albert cave. Once you enter the cave, you make your way forward until you encounter the Albert mother with the Albert cup sitting in the back. You can interact with the owlbear mother in several ways, but eventually you will have to kill the owlbear mother. Make sure you do not kill the owlbear cub during the encounter that ensues. Once that's done, speak with the owlbear cub. Allow it to live and it'll start eating its mother, which is one of the saddest scenes in the early access if you'd ask me. But allow it to eat his mother, leave the cave and make sure you go to camp. End the day, go to sleep, get into a new day. Once that's done, make your way into the goblin camp. I don't really care how, but you have to get into the main area of the goblin camp without having all the goblins hostile. In the main area, you will see several goblins playing with the owlbear or at least chasing the owlbear. Talk to the, the main goblin in charge there. The goblin will ask you to chase the chicken or chase the owlbear in this case. You have to pick the side of the owlbear here. So um, try to leave, don't chase it. Um, you, you're there for the owlbear. So eventually you'll leave um, and they'll say get rid of the bard first, so you have to complete the bard thing first, so he is taken inside. Once that's done, you can go back to the goblins. Um, they again will ask you to chase the owlbear, refuse again, and the goblins themselves will start chasing the owlbear. This is the moment where you will have to interact with the owlbear. You can either use a potion to tell it, like literally, that you want it to join you in the camp and that there's no nothing to be afraid of. But if you don't have a potion, you can use the animal handle skill and roll a proper roll, I guess, to convince it that you're not hostile and that it can be safe in your camp. Once you've successfully done that, you will have to talk to the main goblin again and tell it that you want to leave with the owlbear. Of course, she doesn't like that and you have several ways of getting her to agree with you. In my case, I just used a tadpole because I thought this was too important to let slide. And that's it. You'll be allowed to leave with the owlbear and the owlbear starts running off into the wilderness. That's it for now. Go to your camp again and sleep for a while. Probably not this night, but the next night or several nights after that even, it's, it's a bit random you will see that the owlbear starts appearing at your camp. Once the owlbear appears in your camp, you can interact with it. And you can interact with it in several ways, but by all means you have to gain its trust eventually. 
So make your checks successfully and be careful what you do. For example, I was eventually able to feed the owlbear and I could either throw the food at it or allow it to eat from my hand. And allowing it to eat from my hand would result in it being chased away for the day. So throwing the food, for example, is the better option here. Eventually, the owlbear is chased off your camp for this specific evening, but rest a bit, skip a few days and eventually it should come back. This cycle will repeat a couple of times, allowing you to interact with it a couple of times in different ways and it going away from your camp and coming back a couple of days later. Eventually, you will be able to pet the owlbear if everything is gone correctly and it'll be your friend, it'll be chirping friendly to you, it'll be really happy to see you. In the early access, however, eventually it will leave indefinitely and won't come back. I think this is just because it's early access and they haven't developed the rest of the owlbear cup quest chain yet. Um, and I do think it's going to play a much larger role in the eventual game. Um, but for now, this is where it's ending. So you have an owlbear cup in your camp. It looks really cute. You're allowed to do several interactions with it. And hopefully in the final game, you'll get a nice little owlbear friend out of it. So that's it. That's how you get the owlbear cup. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Please consider subscribing if you like these kind of videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.